Washington. Following a fire at the headquarters of Oasis for Animals only last Saturday, almost 20 cats owe Jean Favini, the organization's founder, one of their nine lives. Owner of the cat rescue group disregarded a 911 operator's advice and entered a smoke-filled workplace while wearing a towel over her face in order to save her meowing dependents. She repeatedly entered the structure and came out with her arms crammed with animals. I replied there was no way I wasn't going to collect the kitties from the workplace since that was all I cared about, according to Favini. I needed to choose, and I'm so glad I did. I regret not entering sooner. She and a South Whidbey fireman succeeded in removing all 24 indoor cats from the structure. Sadly, five people died from smoke inhalation and were unable to live. Renowned no-kill rescue group Oasis for animals spays and neuters stray cats before offering them for adoption. About 4.30 p.m., a fire broke out in the structure adjacent to her house. Since neither the stove nor the microwave were in use when the fire broke out, it is thought to have been electrical in origin. Because the flames were modest, they were unable to completely burn down the office, just destroying some of the counters, the appliances, and a portion of the wall. When smoke started to fill the cat-filled room, Favini's smoke alarm did not go off. When she heard their meows for assistance, she only understood there was an issue. After snatching each cat by the scruff of the neck, Favini and the firemen made an effort to revive them one at a time. I thought we were going to lose them all, Favini said. My face, hands, and hair were all black, so I later had to go to the hospital to get tested for smoke inhalation. Favini's fast thinking and courage allowed all 24 cats to be hauled out, and 19 of them were still alive. Since the fire, Robin Jones, the previous proprietor of South Whidbey Animal Clinic, has assisted Favini in providing medical treatment for the cats. Years ago, I served as Jean's veterinarian, Jones recalled. We organized a production line and finally treated every patient. They were creatures in need of assistance, and that's what I'm taught to do even if I don't deal with crises. Despite the horrible experience, Favini is cheerful. She is now managing to grin in the middle of the fallout as many of the cats' health are getting better. It's just great to see them bounce around in their cages again, said Favini. I grin when I see them playing once again and close their lips when they breathe. I believe I required that. Favini is already making use of the whole episode to spread awareness about the need of routinely upgrading fire detection equipment. One never knows when defective machinery can put the lives of loved ones in danger.